Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Clover. This is episode 6. Not episode 5, like I thought it was, because I was an idiot. We're gonna try and travel through all of Mount Moot in this one, and hopefully it won't be too long. Random encounters that aren't new Pokemon will be cut out for time reasons, and... I wish I was doing this for comedic effect. It is unfortunately not done for comedic effect. Anyways, right here is another Chompest if you want to get it so bad. We didn't need it though because we already have a really good Chompest. Just doing some exercises, move along. Alright, Thumb Man. I've actually been enjoying. I've been enjoying working out. My Armando are so big, dude. Oh, this theme is kind of bopping. <laughs> Alright, let's fight him. If he has no new Pokemon, though, they will also not be shown. Just for time reasons. Iguala grew to level 18, though. Chompas grew to level 10. And yeah, we got some money. Let's heal up a bit. I recommend stocking up on potions in Mount Moot. There's also this little treasure here. TM9. Bullet Seed. There's actually a really handy TM. This land shell of mine is my best friend. Is that your only Pokemon? Ooh, Trowbait got to level 15. And my Drew got to level 18. And is trying to learn rollout. Ooh. We're gonna get rid of Rock Throw. Yes, Trabat is evolving. Sweet, trial bed evolved into two lure. Welcome to the party. We found a paralyzed heal. And now let's see what's down hole number one. Ooh, it's another hole. And we have the end of Mount Moot. Over here though. Is an Archompass. I recommend healing right here before going any further. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Super Nerd Miguel sends out a Sundra. And he's packing a new Pokemon called Eliphaz. This is a normal and psychic type, so I recommend using a Pokemon like Chompest on it. But look out, because it has some special attack EVs. Those you don't really want on something like Chompest. And it also packs Think Fast, a priority psychic move. Uh-oh. This is not a good battle for Chompest, now that I think about it, so we'll send an Iguala. Oh, yeah. Come on, Iguala. Yes. And Chomp has leveled up. And is trying to learn Rock Tomb. We'll get rid of Rock Throw for Rock Tomb. Get beat. We'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. 
do we want to take the tooth fossil or do we want to take the horn fossil i personally don't have a preference when it comes to these there is two wildly different pokemon from these however i will be honest with all of you I'm going to take the Tooth Fossil, because I have never really used the Tooth Fossil Pokemon, if I remember correctly. And then he takes his Fossil. And then he gives us the Raptor Claw. That's right, chat. We got the Raptor Claw, which is in the key items category. It is another fossil. And we can go revive it at any point. Which we will probably do soon. Prepare to get rocked. Oh no, it's Dwayne Johnson. Oh no, it's Marcos. Looks like the one who got rocked was me. Yep. Oh. <gasps> There's our favorite rival, Kexandra, so let's heal up because she's gonna battle us. <laughs> and I know that Kexandra's gonna be packing some new Pokemon. What the fuck, Passion? I didn't expect to find you here. I heard that this cave is the legacy of some guy named Mott. I asked people who he was and they told me he was a cuck and an idiot. <laughs> oh, by the way, we should totally have a rematch to be honest, fam. She keeps her Meme, but now it's a much higher level. Her Meme can be actually really annoying if you're not prepared for it. Especially with this move, Assist. Ooh. This is not looking good. Yikes. Hit five times in a row. Well, that hurt. Oh, oh no. And Psybeam. I wonder what Pokemon Psybeam came off of, actually. But we're going to send in Probosquito here. Kexandra is actually not that smart when it comes to AI, if I remember correctly. Despite seeming like it, she does get smarter as time goes on. And that's really nice, because it's character development. But at the same time, she starts pretty stupid. That's right, folks. Her grass hole evolved into an algae. And that thing packs bullet seed, and it is dangerous. Oh my god, is it gonna hit five times in a row again? Nope, only three this time. But it does pack a berry. And more bullets. Oh, a crit. Thank God that only hit twice. Alright, there we go. An algae can be a real threat if you're not ready for it. Probosquito. And Chompus leveled up. And this is her new Pokemon, Singlets. Singlets is psychic and electric and can be quite terrifying. However, we will not see how terrifying it gets because Iguala here can take it out in one hit with Snarl. Oh, fuck, I got wrecked. <laughs> I fucking love Kixendra. <laughs> hey, are you going to Activate? You better head to the gym to get some sick gains, bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some first aid for my dying animals. <laughs> Kixendra reminds me a lot of one of my friends. 
And we've made it out of Mount Moo. And what awaits us is Activate City. Next time on Pokemon Clover, we will be going to Activate City. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're being safe. And have a good night. Hey everyone, I also just wanted to say, we forgot some secrets. If you go down this ladder, and you keep going, you get an item. The nugget. Just some money. But that's not all. There's also up here, we found a moonstone. I don't know how I forgot that. And down in this tunnel is an entirely separate route that'll lead you to another item. A potion. There's also this funny sign that I forgot to mention. Trainer tips. Pressing buttons or rocking the D-pad doesn't help when a Pokemon is being captured. So stop doing it. Don't tell me what to do in my life. This cave is so huge and rough. We even missed a trainer battle. The lure is trying to learn Bubble Beam. Wow, we actually made a huge goof. I can't stand that weirdo guy trying to spy on me and the other lasses in this cave. Me neither. You will end up in the same location now. Just a different route. Just thought I'd show you. This is going to be the real end to the episode now, though.